Nothing. More tea? Uh, no thanks. What's that doing there? Nothing much. Put it on the floor. I was only getting him used to me. Well, I'd rather you did it somewhere else. Where on earth did you get it? Sam got him for me. His name's Beelzebub. Beelzebub? Mm, he's my familiar. Your what? My familiar. You know, witches have them. Birds cross the blue fly, home cross the bee. Birds and home they cry, and so do we. It's a history of witchcraft. Witches had familiars. They were sort of pets. That's the latest craze, is it? What do you mean? Magic. It was, uh, submarines last week. Oh, it's duly interesting. It'd be nice if it worked. I'd get you to put a spell on Pearson. Who's he? The bank manager. I've just had a very nasty letter from him about my overdraft. Come in, Sam. I'm sorry to trouble you, Mr. Bennett. Could you come? I've written a couple of those efforts. I've got some of mastitis. All right. I'll have a look. Bit of bad luck, innit? it? Especially after all that trouble we had with them rats. Yes, it's getting like the plagues of Egypt. You'd think there was a curse on the place. A curse? We have a budding wizard in the family. For this week, anyway. Come on, Sam. Caves, cults, curses. The power of the evil eye. Gosh. Secret names were used to call up demons to destroy enemies. What do you think, Beelzy? I bet Cat Weasel knows all about curses. Hob, hole, hob, hob, hole, hob. Take it off, take it off. Old one, cold one, cure my bone cake. Nay, and I forgot the earwigs. Nothing works. You know anything about curses? Aye, boy. I had them all in my book. Curses for everything. Curses that would chill thy blood. What book? My magic book. Nine. Hundred years ago. Oh, don't start that again. If our farm's got a curse on it, can you mung curse it? Show me the curse and I will vanquish it. I don't know how to start. Ah. Stuffy! Hmm? Stuffy Gladstone. He runs a local museum. If Hexwood's got a curse on it, he can look it up. That place of his is full of old books. Old books. Mayhap. Magic books. sit inside them. Now, all are magicians. Ah! I have blown your trumpet, my brother.
Now, can you all see? Yes, Mr. Gladstone. Serranus, the Romans called him an ancient fertility god. <laughs> Originally, he had two faces, one each side, like Janus. Unfortunately, one of them is missing. We're lucky to see him at all, really. He belongs to the British Museum. Professor Honington arranged the loan. He's coming today to take our friend back to London. What are you eating? Nothing, nothing at all. Thank you so much. Come along, girls. Come along quickly. Come along. Mr. Gladstone. Yes. Um, I wonder if you can help me. Well, I will if I can. My name's Bennett, Edward Bennett. I'm from Hexford Farm. Hexford Farm. Oh, yes. That's partly 17th century. Nice old place. <laughs> Well, I'm doing this history project, so I thought I might as well do it about my home. Oh, splendid idea. Well, I remember that interesting talk you gave us at school. Oh, really? Oh, that's, that's very encouraging. I rather thought I'd laid a bit of an egg. Oh, no, no. <coughs> Guest of the Norman invaders! <laughs> did you touch the exhibit? Well, did you? I'm sure he didn't, Mr. Gladstone. You know this gentleman? D yes, um, he's staying with us at the farm. Aren't you, Mr. Brown? I see. Um, when can I come and see you? This afternoon, 3.30. It really is rather pressing, Mr. Bennett. You're 800 pounds over your limit. I see. Uh, all right, uh, 3.30. Goodbye. Eight hundred. Sam? You finished up there? Oh, I'd be a bit of a while yet, Mr. Bennett. That bath's really blocked up. I never see such a mess. Well, when you're finished, would you get the stepladder and have a look at that fuse box? Some of those upstairs lights seem to be on the blink. There you are. There we are. That's better. No damage done. After all, he was used to being biffed about a bit, wasn't he, Mr. Brown? Mr. He's a bit odd, isn't he? Why is he wearing that um, thing? Well, he's worn it for years. I wonder where he's got to. What are you doing? I've lost him. You you haven't brought Touchwood, have you? He wanted to come. You'll get us thrown out. He already thinks you're potty. That. Come, my boy. Come, my merry boy. He really is very hard, isn't he? What's he looking for? <coughs> I think he's found it. <laughs> a frock. He's a toad. <laughs> now, let me see. Where was I? Uh, oh, yes, Hexwood. Hmm. Uh, Tobias's History of Westbourne. That's what we want. Uh, Tobias. Oh, yes. <laughs> Not that eye upon me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Hexford. Oh, yes, here we are. Well, oh, there's not much, I'm afraid. The new house at Hexwood is of most pleasant aspect. One rapkin, tis said, bound all who live there in turmoil. But that is matter for the foolish. Well, that's all on Hexwood. Bound all who live there in turmoil? What does it mean? Well, Tobias is often rather obscure, I'm afraid. 
Now flippity gibbet. Tis as clear as spin water. That rapkin was a witch. Really, Mr. Brown, how could you possibly know that? <laughs> Mr. Brown, I'd, I'd rather you didn't do that. Mr. Brown, the, the, the book was uh, valuable. Come down, Brown. My search is over. <laughs> Repkin, his book. <laughs> <laughs> Within. Don't worry, Mr. Gleston. I'll get it back.